Magandang araw mga bata! Welcome to Teacher Marla's Channel kung saan maraming matututunan sa lesson na ating pag-aaralan. Our subject is Mathematics 6. Let us review our previous lesson. These five solid figures prepare their questions if you really understood our topic last week. Let's have first the question of Mr. Sphere. Are you ready to answer the question of Mr. Sphere? Okay. His question is, what is the formula in finding the volume of a sphere? A. 2 pi radius cube. B. 4 pi radius cube. C. 2 pi radius cube divided by 3. And letter D. 4 pi radius cube divided by 3. What is the answer? Very good. The answer is letter D. The next question is from Miss Cylinder. Her question is, what do you call the number of cubic units contained in a space figure? A. Area B. Perimeter C. Surface area and D. Volume What is the answer? Very good. The answer is letter D. Volume The third question is from Miss Cohn. The volume of cone is blank the volume of cylinder. A. Twice B. Thrice C. One half D. One third What is the answer? Very good. The answer is one third. Next question is from Mr. Pyramid. His question is, the volume of prism is blank the volume of pyramid. A. Twice B. Thrice C. One half D. One third What is the answer? Very good. The answer is letter B. Thrice. The last question is from Miss Prism. Her question is, what is the volume of rectangular prism with dimensions of 7 cm, 9 cm, and 12 cm? A. 63 cubic cm. B. 108 cubic cm. C. 756 cubic cm. Letter D. 5,292 cubic cm. What is the volume? Very good. The answer is letter C, 756 cubic centimeter. Congratulations! You really understood our previous topic. Okay, now, before we proceed to our next topic, I have here few lines or slogan from two companies here in the Philippines. First slogan is, May liwanag ang buhay. The slogan is from what company? Very good. This slogan is from Meralco who gives light to every household. Next is, Public service through water facility. This slogan is from what company? Very good. This slogan is from General Trias Water Corporation who provides water which we really need every day. Electricity and water are very important in our day-to-day -day living. And let us learn today how to read electric and water meters to know how much electricity and water we consume. Our objectives for today's lessons are reads and interprets electric and water meter readings and solves routine and non-routine problems involving electric and water consumption. When we say kilowatt hour, it is the unit for measuring electric energy used in households. One kilowatt is equivalent to 1,000 watts. Next is the electric meter. 
On the left side is the old style of electric meters with dials, while on the right side is the digital electric meter where most households use. Steps on how to read electric meter. The first step is to stand directly in front of your meter and look at the dials. So we have the dial A, dial B, dial C, and dial D. So the adjacent dials move in opposite directions. Dials A and C move counterclockwise, while dials B and D move in a clockwise direction. Step 2. Read the meter starting from the leftmost dial. First, read dial A followed by dials B, C, and D. You will write down the numbers that the pointers have passed in each of the four dials. Halimbawa, ang pointers ay nasa gitna ng 3 and 4. Ang isusulat mong number ay 3. Kung saan, lumampas na yung pointers. Kaya ang isusulat mo ay number 3. Remember that when a pointer is directly pointing to a number in any of the dials, always consult the dial to its right. If the pointer of dial D points directly at 0 or between 0 and 1, then dial C will be read as 5. Kapag ang pointer ay direktang nakatutok sa isang number, halimbawa ay 5, kukonsultahin nyo yung katabi niyang dial. So, ang katabing dial ng letter C ay letter D. Kapag ang pointer ng dial D ay nasa gitna ng 0 and 1, so, the pointer or the dial C will be read as 5. But if the pointer of dial D points between 9 and 0, then dial C will be read as 5. So, since ang Dial C, direktang nakatutok ang pointer sa number 5, titingin ulit kayo sa katabi niyang dial which is letter D. Kapag ang pointer ng dial D ay nakatutok sa between 0 and 9, so ibig sabihin ang dial C will be read as number 4. Step 3, write down your meter's new reading. This represents your present reading. So let's have an example. Let us give the electric meter reading. So we have dial A, dial B, dial C, and then dial D. So unahin natin yung dial A. So since yung pointer ay kakalampas lang ng 3, so between siya ng 3 and 4, so it will be read as 3. Next is dial B. So since ang dial B ay nakatutok sa number 4, titingin tayo sa katabi niyang dial, which is dial C. So since ang pointer ay nasa gitna ng 0 and 9, so ibig sabihin ang dial B ay 3. Then for dial C, this is 9. Then for dial D, 6. So the meter reading is 3,396 kWh. Another example, so we have five dials. Dial A, B, C, D, and E. For the first dial, so it is between 2 and 3. So kukunin natin yung 2 kasi kakalampas pa lang niya sa number 2. For dial B, so between 4 and 5, so kukunin natin yung 4. Then dial C, 1 and 2, between 1 and 2, so isusulat natin yung 1. Then, dial D, we have the pointers uh, between 2 and 3, so it will be read as 2. Then, for the last dial, we have 8. So, this is 24,128 kWh. For the electric consumption, we have this formula. For the kilowatt hour used or the consumption, we have present reading minus the previous reading. For present reading, we have previous reading plus kilowatt hour used. Then the formula for previous reading, present reading minus the kilowatt hour used. So let's have an example. So we have here the table of electric readings. So we have household A. So its previous reading is 2,150 kilowatt hour. Present reading is 2,288 kilowatt hour. So, hinahanap dito yung kilowatt hour use or the consumption of electricity. So, we will subtract. So, present reading minus previous. So, 2,288 minus 2,150 is equal to 138 kilowatt hour. Household B. 
Um, previous reading is 7,285 and the present reading is 7,810. So we are looking for the consumption. So we will subtract present reading minus the previous 7,810 minus 7,285. So the answer is 525 kilowatt hour used. For household C, we have the previous reading 4,605 kilowatt hour. And the kilowatt hour used is 333 kilowatt hour. So we are looking for the present reading. So the formula is we will add the previous reading and the electric consumption. So 4,605 minus 333 is equivalent to 4,938 kilowatt hour. And for household D, the present reading is 6,795 and the electric consumption or the kilowatt hour used is 360. So the formula in finding the previous reading is present reading minus the consumption or the kilowatt hour used. So 6,795 minus 360 is equal to 6,435. For problem solving, Mr. De La Cruz is computing his monthly electrical consumption. Based on his electric bill, last month he was able to consume 125 kilowatt hour. When he checked his digital electric meter, the reading is 199 kilowatt hour. How many kilowatt hours did Mr. De La Cruz consume this month? So we will use the formula in finding the electric consumption. So the formula is present reading minus the previous rating. So we have 199 kilowatt hour minus 125 kilowatt hour. So the answer is 74 kilowatt hour. Mr. De La Cruz consumed 74 kilowatt hour this month. Another problem, last month the electric meter reading was 6,452 kilowatt hour. This month the reading was 8,328 kilowatt hour. If electricity costs 3 pesos and 40 centavos per kilowatt hour, how much will one pay? So let us compute the electric consumption before we proceed to the um, cost of electricity. So present reading, we have 8,328, then previous reading, 6,452, then subtract the answer is 1,876. So, para mahanap kung magkano yung um, ibabayad sa kuryente, kailangan lang nating i-multiply ang 1,876 at 3 pesos and 40 centavos. So, the answer is 6,378 pesos and 40 centavos. So, ito ang babayaran ngayong buwan. Next, we have the water meter. Today, most households use a water meter with odometer to measure the amount of water consumption. Like in the electricity, the water consumed is measured by a meter and is expressed in cubic meters. So we have one cubic meter is equivalent to 1,000 liter. The water meter is not the same as the electric meter. It is a digital meter that shows seven digits. So the last three digits at the right form the decimal or fractional part when measuring the amount of water consumed. So this is 0 0.592 cubic meter and 592 liters. So let's have an example. Write the following in cubic meter. So the water meter reading is 0, 0, 0, 0002673. So in cubic meter, so the answer is 2.673 cubic meters. Another one we have 0082501. So in cubic meter, it is 82.501 cubic meter. Write the following in liters. So we have the meter reading 0004301. So in liters, it is 4301 liters. Another, we have 
5460. So in liters, we have 235,460 liters. For water consumption, to compute the water consumption for a particular period, simply subtract the previous reading from the present reading. So just like the electric consumption. So we have this formula. Consumption is equal to present reading minus the previous reading. For the present reading, previous reading plus the consumption. For the previous reading, we have the present reading minus the consumption. So let's have an example. So the previous reading is 253. The present reading is 406. So water consumption in cubic meter. So we will just subtract present reading minus the previous reading. So 406 minus 253 is equivalent to 0 0.153 cubic meter. Next is 6548. Then, 7051. For the water consumption, subtract 7051 and 6548. So, the answer is 0 0.503 cubic meter. For problem solving, the cousin family consumed 3.563 cubic meter of water last month and 11.428 cubic meter this month. How many cubic meters of water did they consume? So we will have uh, this formula. So we have present reading minus the previous reading. So 11.428 minus 3.563. So the answer is 7.865 cubic meters. So they consumed 7.865 cubic meters. So now, I will show you pictures and try to guess what is the picture. This is the first picture. So this is the Bangui Wind Farm in Ilocos Norte. Next is, it is the Kalatagan Solar Farm, which is the largest solar facility in the Philippines located in Kalatagan, Batangas. Then the last picture is, this is the Magat Hydroelectric Power Plant. This is one of the largest hydro facilities in Luzon, located in the border of Isabela and Ifugao. So the three picture is all about what? Okay, very good. It is different sources of energy transformed to electricity. Why is it important to have this kind of renewable energy? Very well said. Renewable energy provides reliable power supplies and fuel diversification, which enhance energy security. Renewable energy also helps conserve the nation's natural resources. How can we conserve our electricity and water? Very good. We can conserve electricity by just turning off the lights when not needed and unplug and use electric appliances. Turn off the water while brushing your teeth and use glass to conserve water and check faucets and pipes for leaks. Okay, children, don't forget the steps on how to read electric meter. Step one, always read all the dials from left to right. Next is read the number by the pointer of the dial. When the pointer is between two numbers, the lower number is recorded. Then if the pointer appears to be exactly on a number, Check the dial to the right to find out the correct reading. If the dial on the right has passed zero, then use the number the pointer is pointing to on the dial you are reading. If the dial has not passed zero, then make use of the smaller number on the dial you are reading. For the steps on how to read water meter, it is a digital meter that shows seven digits. The last three digits at the right form the decimal or fractional part when measuring the amount of water consumed. Do you have any questions? If you don't have questions, 
Then, that's the end of our discussion for today. I hope you learned how to read electric and water meter. Thank you for watching. If you are new in our channel, please subscribe and click the notification bell for more math and science videos.